All right, I am excited to introduce the Fieldcraft Survival Everyday Carry Concealed Knife. Uh, this is a knife I'm super excited about that we started developing about a year ago with Mike Glover and Kevin Estella of Fieldcraft Survival. Uh, this is a knife that I really think is different than our normal lineup. It's really focused on everyday carry, concealed carry, uh, where all of our other knives that we make are generally used in the outdoor industry, hunting and fishing, um, things of, of, of that nature. Uh, I have to address, we've, you might hear a little pounding in the background. That's our new knife uh, production facility being built right now. Our roofer showed up this morning unexpectedly, which I'm very happy about, and he's back there hammering away. So uh, that is maybe some of the pounding you hear in the background. All right, let's talk about this Fieldcraft knife. Um, this is, again, I said it, it's been in development for over a year, uh, and I really worked closely with Kevin Estella of Fieldcraft Survival. Kevin is an expert in the knife field. Uh, he, frankly, he knows about every knife that's ever come out by every company. Uh, he's trained in some self-defense tactics with a knife, where I am not. And again, at Montana Knife Company, I like to rely on people who have experience and, and uh, knowledge that I don't possess. So I'm a hunter and a fisherman, not necessarily an everyday carry knife uh, survival uh, expert. So Kevin had a few things that he wanted to see in a knife that would make it a great everyday carry. I think the first and foremost, we have to talk about the way that this knife carries. Um, it's inside the waistband. So that knife slides down inside your jeans. The sheath is flat against your body. There's no sharp edges back here. Um, and it, it slides right down inside your waistband, either on your hip or really more inside your leg, kind of um, above your groin area. Uh, this has a clip. The sheath has a clip with an actual fabric grabber, so once it's clipped down in there, this sheath cannot come up out of your pants, um, leggings, shorts, whatever you're wearing this over. Uh, this clip also does go over a belt, so you can, you can clip that over your belt instead of going down inside your jeans if you would like. Uh, what's great is once this knife is clipped inside your pants, the only thing you're gonna see is just this part of the handle sticking up. What's really fantastic about our sheath design on this is Kevin wanted this knife to be able to pivot back and forth in this direction. So our clip has a pivot built into it with a slot where this clip will rotate back and forth on this sheath, which allows you to bend over and have that knife pivot out of the way. There's nothing worse than getting in your vehicle and having a, a handle of a blade jabbing you in the side or jabbing you in the stomach. Um, secondly, what was really important about this sheath is you need to be able to index that knife without looking at it and put it away. So when you want to put that blade away, you can touch your tip on the front, pull up slightly, and it hits the back of the sheath and slides down in. That's very important because now you're not fishing around trying to put that knife away without having to look down and guide it into your sheath. The back of the sheath is higher than the front, which allows that tip to hit back there and then guide your way back down into the sheath. Uh, this knife also doesn't have any straps or buckles, and that way when it's in there and it's in the sheath, you can rip it out quickly. It's very secure and accessible um, to carry. Lastly about the sheath, it's got a retention screw on it here. So if you want to adjust the tension on the sheath a little bit, if you're going to pull it out and it's kind of tight, or maybe you're a little worried about it getting loose and falling out, you can always tighten down this screw with this rubber washer between it to adjust a little bit of the tension of that blade. All right, let's move on to the knife. What was very important to Kevin was to be able to reach down and, and have some dexterity and feel where you're at on that knife. So we have some grooves that are actually proud of this blade a little bit, but they're softened so they're not sharp and uncomfortable on the body. These grooves allow you to actually have some grip. So when you go to pull that knife, if you have gloves on or your hands wet or something like that, you can pull that blade out and you've got some dexterity back there to feel that you've actually got the end of that knife. All right, let's talk about the actual blade design here. 
it was very important to Kevin that the tip of this blade is dead center along these screws and to the back of this knife. And I'm gonna let Kevin talk about this more on some of the videos that he's gonna shoot. But in a self-defense situation, if you're holding that knife or you're pointing it, you want the center of that blade to be right down the center line of your hand and your arm so you're guiding that blade where it needs to go and the tip isn't one way or the other of the, of the center line and that blade's always following where you're at. The other thing we wanted to be able to do is cap this knife in either direction. I can flip that blade around either way and we're capping it with our thumb and it's very, very comfortable. The thumb fits right over the top and that way if you need to open boxes on a pulling action, you need to have your thumb over it and you're pushing through something or obviously in a worst case scenario, if it's a self-defense situation, you know, if you're actually stabbing or jabbing that blade uh, and that handle is very secure in your hand and your thumb is over the top. The last thing you wanna do when you jab down into something is have that blade slide up into your hand and have your hand go down over that blade. So that's the reason of the capping of that blade. Lastly, we have just a little dish in this, in this knife right in here, and that's kind of for your thumb to just index into there and get a really good grip on that knife. Yeah, thumb fits in there really nice. It's not overly uh, present, but it's there and helps present a really nice cutting action and grip on that blade. Grip is incredibly important on a self-defense knife. And the last thing I'll say about that is we actually leave some of the milling marks on this G10, we do not want to polish this G10 where it's slick, when it's wet, or if you're in a situation where uh, you are actually stabbing or jabbing or, or pulling that knife through material. Uh, in regards to the G10, the reason we use that material is it's basically indestructible. Uh, there's, it won't crack, it's not like wood where it's gonna uh, be affected by climate. Um, G10 is just a fantastic material. Lastly, the blade. This blade is stainless steel. It is CPM 154 stainless steel. It's a very good steel, it's very tough. And we, and we made this blade a little bit thicker edge geometry, a little bit thicker tip than we normally do on our hunting knives because again, the tip of this blade needs to be tough. The edge needs to be tough. If you jab this knife into something and you hit bone or anything hard, we don't want that tip breaking off on you. So again, this is a knife that can be used in a very tough situation, uh, and we're very proud of the design of this knife. So that's our Fieldcraft Survival Knife. Um, we're very proud of it. It's very functional, and quite frankly, most people are gonna be carrying this knife every day and using it for anything but self-defense. Uh, we wanted this knife to be functional, to be able to use at your everyday jobs, uh, on the weekend playing, having a good time. But the most important function of this is self-defense. It's to be able to conceal carry that, have your t-shirt right over the top of it. Uh, you, you won't be attracting a bunch of attention, but it's always there if you need it.